There are many different forms of treatment for reflux, and we consider treatment for reflux that is more advanced when you're not responding to simple dietary measures or lifestyle changes, or even the use of medication. I like to divide up therapy based upon the type of therapy or the, let's say, the sphincter portion that's going to be treated. We've talked before about the fact that there's an internal lower esophageal sphincter and an external lower esophageal sphincter. And it's actually a very convenient way to think of the different therapies, and in particular when we want to talk about surgical therapies. The external sphincter is made up of the diaphragm ligaments that circle the esophagus, and it works in coordination with the internal sphincter, which is within the wall of the esophagus. Most of the surgical therapies are directed towards external modalities or external treatment by trying to either repair that external sphincter, uh, such as in fixing a hiatal hernia, or in trying to constrict the esophagus so that gastric contents have a harder time coming up into the esophagus and into the larynx. In general, surgical therapies work quite well, and like every other therapy, they do have their limitations and potential complication rates.